So I'm going to show you what I found at a flea market in San Antonio. Uh, these flea markets only really go around when they only open around early in the morning is the time that you need to go to them. That's the time that you can get the best deals in my opinion, as well as find. So when I go, I'm also looking for uh, video games. I'm not looking for just magic cards. I can buy any anime, like anime DVDs I'll buy, anime figures I'll buy, toys I'll buy, Transformers I'll buy, um, anything really, posters. I, I bought a ton of movie posters, like old movie posters. I even had the Pokemon the first movie, Near Mint, as a movie poster. So I was like, wow, that's like $88 for 100 movie posters. And you have like 10 Pokemon first movie movie posters. All right, I'll buy it. But in San Antonio, I was able to find a flea market vendor and they, this is all they had. It's not like a great collection, but it's like good enough, I guess. And it was only $5. I don't even know if it's $5. I guess there is a card that should be extremely valuable here. If I remember correctly, um, it should be, yes, this card right here. Uh, is itself worth more than $5. So the way I buy collections is, and Spell Pierce is a few dollars. Um, if I can identify a card or a small group of cards, which I believe are, you know, have equal value to what I'm offering, then everything else I view is a bonus. And the bonus is whatever, right? Like the Spell Pierce, Watch Wolf, that's nice. I, I literally can play any deck in Popper, and I literally have any uncommon or common. There's dozens of them, because from flea marking from the whole summer. Uh, it's something that I really did with my friends. I used to go, the same group of friends, uh, Kobe, um, we, we used to go deep sea fishing, and that was expensive. So you take this boat, you go in the middle of the ocean and you charter the boat and everyone pays like $400 um, and you catch fish for like a weekend and then you have to pay for a hotel, you have to do all this stuff. And I used to do a lot of anime conventions, but you know, I got to save some monies and flea marketing is actually the cheapest form of entertainment per hour that I currently know of outside of playing Pokemon Go. And or outside of playing Final Fantasy video games, but that doesn't really count. Like the, uh, it's something that I have a lot of fun going out with my best friend Kobe, and we just go out and we do it. And we he doesn't he has no interest in Magic cards whatsoever. He just wants to buy Zelda games. He's opened a store for not to make money, but for the sole purpose of people selling him Zelda games. And now he buys Pokemon because he's really into Pokemon Go. So he's buying all these Pokemon games as well. He has stacks of original Pokemon Blue. And yeah, I'll definitely take you to the store sometime. Um, but it's kind of like, it's so loud and there's music and stuff. So I, I tried to film at the store. You just cannot hear what I'm saying. But anyway, I found this one card and I knew this was worth money. Or I believe there was worth money. And then the rest was just bonus and I offered five dollars and he took five dollars and that was that. Uh, it's been pretty good, like flea marketing has very, been very good in the summer. I live in the great state of Texas and in Texas you can go to San Antonio, you can go to Dallas, you can go to Fort Worth, you can go to Waco, you can go to Armilio. Ar I've been up there to visit like a law firm client and you know I get to travel, I travel anyways so uh, why not just hit up a flea market or hit up a card store and the way I find them is I go on Facebook and then I find you know who is selling I go to the spy sell and I contact them on Facebook and I tell them hey listen I you know want to you know make sure that you have the magic cards like I don't waste my time on places that don't have magic cards right or video games I've been able to pick up a sealed completely sealed from uh What's that store? Toys R Us, uh, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue. That was not a cheap pickup, but I'm very glad to add that to my video game collection because I have so many box copies, but never one that is sealed. I believe it is correctly sealed. But anyway, so this stuff is far less, flea marketing is far less expensive than what I would be doing in my other spare time. So it makes a lot of sense. And I'm gonna say, 
I'll show you how wasteful some of my spending habits can be because I know you guys do enjoy that sometimes. Bye guys.